Hello guys, my name is Justin. Uh, welcome to my, my first YouTube video. Hopefully you'll get more than one view. <laughs> right, so basically as the title suggests, I'm going to show you how to uh, disable Windows Defender. Don't worry, it is reversible. Uh, so I recommend this for low-end laptops or low-end gaming laptops with aging GPUs. Definitely for laptops that only have integrated graphics. So as you know, um, okay, let's use an example. Say you're using a laptop with integrated graphics. So now if you go down, you go to your uh, right click on your on your uh, toss uh, on your taskbar, your task manager, and see there's this annoying little thing called anti malware service executable. Uh, for laptops with good GPUs, you know, like a 2000 series and up, oh, even a a, a, a 1060 and up. This is really not going to affect you too much. But if you're on a low end system, especially one with integrated graphics, where um, yeah, your uh, your GPU is actually uh, taken, or your VRAM is straight from your RAM, that you're really going to feel this one. So, first step, Windows key and R. You're going to type in regedit. Okay. Got an H key local machine, the software. Policies, Microsoft, Windows Defender. Right, in Windows Defender, right click, new key, Windows Defender, right click, new key. Right, your first new key, you're going to rename this to real dash section. Right, so then, second one, you're going to rename it to Spinex. Right, in real-time protection, click in there. Right-click, new, D-word. And then, yeah, you just simply type in all one word. Real-time protection. Right, and then right click on that, modify, give it a value of 1, spine it, got new, D word, spine it, no, sorry, spine it, oh, that's up, that's wrong, that's up. spine it reporting. Right, and then what you're going to do is modify that, give it a value of 3. Okay, you done. Close here. All right, then go to settings. Update and security. Windows security. Manage settings. Switch this off. Close. Restart, restart your computer. You done. Right, guys. Um, I've gone and I've restarted my computer. So over here, just open your task manager, and you'll see anti-malware service executable is non-existent anymore. Uh, like I said, this is really going to give you like a nice little boost, especially if you're using integrated graphics. Uh, anywhere between, yeah, three to ten FPS. Um, and as you know, if you if you're gaming on integrated graphics, low resolution. Low low uh, graphics fidelity, but still only getting 15 to 30 FPS. So, yeah, any FPS I appreciate. How do I know this? Because this was the story of my life up until recently. Right, um, and then, look, I don't recommend you leaving Windows Defender off indefinitely. Once you finish your gaming session, you want to put Windows Defender on again. What you do, you just reverse the steps I showed you. So you go Windows key and R, Rage Edit. Okay, spine edge reporting. Uh, you're gonna just modify this and give it a value of zero. I'm not gonna do it because I want to keep it all for the time being. Uh, real time protection. There we go. Just modify it, give it a value of zero. Yeah, and reboot your system. Windows Defender will be on again, guys. Thank you so much for watching my first little video. Uh, I do apologize about the sound quality at the moment. I I am only using headphones. Um, 
yeah let's see let's see if this channel can actually grow and yeah hopefully the quality will get better have a lack of day cool man cheers bye